Hi folks. Anybody here? I'm sitting next to the front porch of O. Henry's house. You ever heard of the old author O. Henry? I've never read any of his stuff, but he lived here in Austin for a while. Got in trouble for embezzling money. He, lived, he worked at the bank. And I'm sitting next to his front. Hey, Mike, what's going on, brother? South by Southwest, I'm downtown. Good evening, Kusk. Backstair, Bradosti, Skylar Kroll. Good to see y'all. I'm standing over here, talking to myself. People are looking at me like, what is that guy doing? And I'm looking at myself and trying to stream. You wanna see what I'm looking at? Hold on, turn around here. Hello, West Virginia. So I'm just downtown here. Here's O. Henry's porch. Phil Collins is here. What's up, brother? Lindsey Brandon of Michigan. So this is O. Henry's house. It's his front porch. As you can see, I'm sitting on the ramp leading from the front porch. Vancouver, Canada. What's up, Ernie? So yeah, it's South by Southwest. Pennsylvania, Ron White. Ron Wright. Ron Wright. Up there, oh my, oh yeah. Son, he's doing fine. We got, gave him some antacid. That's what the doctor said. It wasn't appendicitis. Thank you, Phil. Phil's first, always first, first in our hearts. Uh, yeah, he's fine. Son's fine. I gave him some antacid. Uh, he's doing good. Hasn't been a problem since, so thank you very much. Sydney, Australia. Timely behavior. What's going on? It's crazy. Well, you're welcome, Camden. Watching YouTube videos got me into uh, safety razor shaving, too. And I ain't looking back. So behind me is... Uh, I wish, I, yeah, I'm not gonna shave right here. I've shaved on a volcano before, but I'm not, I can't shave on O. Henry's front porch. I just can't do it. Can't do it, it's just not fair. This behind me is uh, the number one uh, fire station here in downtown Austin. So if you're here in town for South by Southwest, come meet me over at O. Henry's house. I'm sitting right on the front porch. Fifth Street and Neches, N-E-C-H-E-S. Neches, I can't remember what that means in Spanish. Nueces is pecans, but Neches, it's just a river, one of the rivers here in town. What the heck is that? There goes a convertible driving by with a <laughs> saguaro cactus. How did I get into voiceovers? Um, well, I've been recording myself doing stupid you know, things all, all my life, recording myself doing dumb skits. And I was blessed with a voice that sounds like this, so thanks, Dad. And forever, people were asking me, are you in radio? Do you do radio? And I never was. I always thought it would be cool to be in radio. Oh, it's... Oh, I, you know, I have Mondays off. Kusk, that's what I have off. So, eventually I looked into taking some informal classes, as they call them, that were given at the university. There was one, actually, one night taught by a woman who is a voiceover professional, and she kind of gave you the idea of what to do. And then she gave another class. Yeah, where's Phil Hazelton? I haven't seen him. The two Phils. Well, at least we got one Phil. That's all we need. Fill her up. But, um, yeah, so I took that second class, and then I searched around for an agent. I recorded a demo, found an agent, and the rest is history, as they say. And now here I am sitting on the front porch of O. Henry's house during South by Southwest. Have you guys ever heard of South by Southwest? No, I never pursued a career as a radio DJ, Mike. I never did, because I, I think I... Oh, just saw a girl trip over there. I hate to laugh. Great. Oh, yes, Ernie Faye. That is one of my favorite songs. Just Outside of Austin by Lucas Nelson, Willie's son. Chad Homie, good to see you, Chad. Back. Skyler, you say you can do voice impression like Mickey Mouse. Oh, good. Yeah, there you go. Hey, just um, do some research. Probably really easy on YouTube now to do that, that kind of research. I was doing this long before YouTube started back in 2002 and uh yeah thank you timely i've got you know i've had mild anxiety and mild kind of depression since the pandemic nothing terrible but it's something new to me so i'm like you know but nothing too bad nothing too bad so i've uh, sought help and i'm getting it we're doing good so everything's fine In this big crazy world of ours you know how it is sometimes but nothing too bad so don't worry about me so I'm sitting 5th Street and Neches, as I said. Oh, Henry's, you are, my phone is propped up on this little column here on the front porch of this old house. 
I guess O. Henry lived here in 1893, I think it said, to 1895, something like that. I've never read this stuff. J.C. Shaves is here. Yeah. Yeah, if you need help, go get it. It's not, it. there's no shame in seeking help for whatever it is. How am I enjoying the new car? I've gotten used to it, Kuzka. I really like it. It's good. It's, it's black, so it's hard to keep it uh, 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 clean, especially with all the pollen in the air right now. Uh, I am on... Uh, uh, anti uh, allergy medication because <laughs> that's one of the prices for you pay for living in Austin as long as you have your family you'll get through oh no we're fine there's I'm not getting through anything it's okay <laughs> it's not that bad I really I think it all just kind of uh, the family and I wanted to come down for vacation that where do we play your music every Tuesday night um, at New World Delhi and that's all one world new and then old and then Ellie New World Delhi Tuesday night, 6.30, 8.30, come on out, say hi, please. And uh, if you're here in town for South by Southwest, come see me sitting on the front porch here. I gotta go to work tonight at eight. Wednesday night is my eight o'clock night. And the wife and kids have gone to grandma's house and I'll be joining them there uh, on Friday. So meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm just down here soaking up the South by Southwest nonsense. And if you don't know what that is, look it up. Look it up, S-X-S-W. Oh, there goes a party, party cab, electric cab. I think it's it's like an electric cab, but they give them microphones to sing as they get driven along. <laughs> hey, Tristan 471. Sydney is bad for allergies too. Yeah, I know. I, I take that uh, some generic form of Claritin, a little tiny pill. It doesn't affect me at all. Like, it doesn't make me feel any way. It just keeps me from being like all stuffed up and everything. Let's see, the new car is a Honda CRV, 2019, gently used Honda CRV. Dylan Chalmers is here. Good to see you, brother. Dark Lotus, yes, you're here too. We're hanging out on O. Henry's front porch. I'm gonna flip this around so you can see where we are. Oh, thank you, Phil. A rare occasion of being being able to join a live stream. There you go, Robin. Yeah, I'll just be doing it. Walter, good to see you. You've been walking for three hours. I just walked from my car, which is several, I did this for exercise today. The Changing Man. What's going on here? I need a haircut. I look ridiculous. Oh, Portugal, good to see you. Joao Carlos dos Santos, good to see you, brother. JC Shaves in the gym on the treadmill. Need to uh, time this when you do a live walk, that's right. Walking, walking, walking. So I'm gonna flip it around here. So this is O. Henry's house, front porch. Uh, right behind that, over here. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Hondas. That is a uh, 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 fire station right there. That brick building is an old 1920s fire station. Doesn't look like much from here. But uh, I think I did just get a haircut not too long ago. My hair grows fast, man. I tell you. So over there is a convention center. And that's where the madness is happening right now. I'm, if you want, in a little while... Oh yeah, this is, uh, I like this cardigan too. I call this my Larry David sweater. Do you guys ever watch Curb Your Enthusiasm? See, Mike, I suffer anxiety and depression. If you want to feel good, just take a look at some of your older videos. I know, I know. Hello, Mark Davis in Florida. I was, uh, Mike, I was re-watching uh, my video where I did the, the uh, review of the, uh, what's it called, the Norelco OnePlus, and I was like, wow. There was a lot of weight here, a lot of weight. Yeah, I mean, I lost like, I went from like 230 to 170, so uh, you do the math. That's a lot, 60 pounds, and I'm still, you know, keeping it off. It's been since May of 2021 that I started. And uh, yeah, this is my, here, I'll show you my Larry David car, you know, stand up. See? Larry David just kind of walks around real casual with one of these on, so I found this. I was looking for one. It's very, it's light wool, very light wool. You can tell it's got a, Got a dang moth hole in it, because it's real wool. Anyway, I got it half price last year. I wasn't gonna pay the full price, it was like 100 bucks, so I got it for 50, which is not bad for nice wool cardigan zip up deal. Yeah, what the heck, it's not even that cold, it's not cold at all, it's 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Red tip or slim adjustable for best shave? Slim adjustable, totally, 100%. I never liked the red tips, I didn't like any of those tips. <laughs> I'm not a big tips guy. Uh, now, I don't like those. Um, I don't like the way the, it flares out at the bottom. I don't like the aesthetic of it. And 
you know, the slim adjustable, it's adjustable. So that's great. That's what I like. I like them adjustable ones. Oh, the pedicabs down here are crazy. So many pedicabs. You plan on hitting the gym as positive as now? You double it. You know, I, I don't feel the need to go to the gym. I walk so much. I mean, I walk. I don't know how many steps a day. Let me see how many steps I've done today. And I haven't re even done like a really big one today, I don't think. Which is why I wanted to walk down here before I went to work. Just kill some time because everybody's, everybody's out of the house except me. Well, I'm out of the house too, I guess. So I've done 11,000 steps today. So that's kind of, let's see, weekly summary. What have I done so far? What did I do on I did a bunch yesterday. It's like, yeah, so this week, mon just Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I walked 36,000 steps. So that seems like a lot to me, but that's what I do. I don't feel the need to go to the gym anymore. Okay, let's see. It's a balmy 47. Hello, Houston, David LeBlanc holding down my hometown, Houston. Let's go Astros. I have only one cardigan. Make sure to get a zipper kind, but it looks so baggy on you. Well, there you go. What's your current favorite razor, Josh? I'm telling you, I dig using the, the, the thorn by leaf shaving, you know, the twig slash thorn. That thing's fantastic. I love it. That and the Rockwell success. And uh, my, the same ones. I haven't, they, none have been dethroned yet, you know? Let's see. Are you going to send in the Slim for service? Yes, I do have a gentleman that is going to uh, service it for me. I just have to get around to sending it off. Can I ride a horse? Yes, I can ride a horse. It's not that hard. Not that hard. You have to be very respectful of these horses. They are large animals and you will get hurt if you don't watch out. Slim Adjustable used by Sean Connery. There you go. Any gigs in the pipeline? Just, uh, uh, I'm not going to go see anybody. I, I, I endure South by Southwest when I live here. Luckily, I don't work right downtown anymore. I used to work about a block and a half from here, right in the midst of everything. And it has gotten worse and worse and worse over the years. And they've closed down all the, the roads that I used to like. I, I would always have this, what's up, old friend? Yeah, I don't know about that name. I know what that means. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't mean anything by it, but if you did, well. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, so they closed down all the roads around here and it was such, I would have, I always have my little ways, right? I, I know little ways. Good. Keep a simple shaving up there, Michigan, good to see you. Sunrising soul, good to see you. So I, I usually have these little back ways where I can get to work, but now, and I just walk the road that I normally did, and it is just, it would take me an hour to go two blocks because of the way they have it all blocked off, and oof, I'm glad I don't work down here anymore. I've now worked, uh, I don't know, I don't know how far it is, several, several, many, many, many blocks away from here, so I'm avoiding it all. All right, let's see, what is everybody, what's everybody saying? Let's see. Why does Chelacool feel like a needle burn? You know, Dylan, somebody told me that. They said it was something in it. It may have been... What? Oh, Mike, you didn't have to do that. $49.99. Well, Mike, I appreciate it. I mean, you were, you were one of the most generous people ever. So I appreciate it. But please, guys, don't feel like... Don't feel the need to... to uh, there goes an EMS ambulance. Don't feel the need to, to, to donate any money for me. I'm fine and I don't need it. But thank you very much, Mike. You are a sweetheart. So... Always have been. Always have been. Uh, Adam Wilson, hello, Internet Dad. Well, I'll be your Internet Uncle. How about that? I never. I don't want to be somebody's dad except my own son. You know what I mean? Uh, but yes, Dylan, the needle burn. I think they said it was one of the oils they use. Maybe like a cinnamon oil or something. But I don't know. Man, it gets me. Archer Gatska, hello, Sinatra. Did you already have seen the Sinatra Lennon tribute show by your Glowful? Oh yes, yes, I did. I did. I did. I watched that and I sent it out for other people to watch too. That was great. I got the translation, you know, the kind of a rough translation. So I got the gist of it. That was very, very weird though. It's like, wow, some guy in Germany I've never met is making a video about me. What the heck? It doesn't make any sense. It's great today. It's 23,000. Whoa, Walter. Whoo. You got me beat by 10,000 or 12,000. Dang, I better up my game. Well, I still got several hours and I got to walk back to work. So I'll make it. Yeah, the thorn. Ever want to do those Appalachian trails? You know, I've never thought about doing it.